Hello everyone! In today's video, as I'm sure you saw in the title, I'm going to be painting. It's another one of my creative pursuits aside from sewing, and this week I feel like painting. So I'm going to take advantage of a subject that is always at hand, myself, and paint a self-portrait. And I thought it would be fun to show you the process. Let's go!
about midway through my self-portrait painting and I just wanted to check in and kind of share what I've been thinking about during the painting process. Um, I've actually started painting a self-portrait a couple of times before and have not finished them to the point where I would call it a finished piece that I was happy with. Um, and I think that's because it's pretty difficult to look at a photo of yourself or look into a mirror um, for an extended period of time. It feels a little bit unnatural. And so in the past, I haven't been able to paint a self-portrait to where I thought it was a finished piece. Um, but actually making a video of the process is really helpful because I want to have a finished piece at the end. I want to have an end result. And so I think filming the process has been really helpful for that. Um, when it comes to painting anything, really, you're, as an artist, you're trying to look at the shapes in a simplified way um, to sort of distill and edit them to emphasize things that are important and de-emphasize things that you don't want to draw attention to, um, paying attention to the specific shapes of shadow and of light, areas where the colors are cooler or warmer. And so when you're painting and you're sort of in the zone and you're doing, you're making all of these decisions, it's easy to sort of forget what your subject matter is um, I know that sounds a little bit silly, but what you're painting isn't always as important. It's not as top of mind. And so when you're doing a self-portrait, I have found it's a little bit difficult to get into the, the painting mindset because you're looking at your own face and you're so familiar with it and you think you know what it looks like or what you think it should look like. Um, and it's a little bit distracting and it sort of pulls you out of that. Um, I'm making artistic decisions about how I want this painting to look, how I want to represent my subject. Um, so yeah, I've, it's a difficult project that I've given myself, but I think it's a good one. I think it's a challenge that will make me a better painter if I continue to do self portraits, which I think I will. Um, I love looking at the self-portraits of other painters and I know as well that when I look at this piece or any other painting that I do in the future that I'll see it with completely different eyes than me in it doing the work right now sees it in a very self-critical way. Um, so yeah, I just wanted to check in and share what I was thinking and also Kind of give myself a little bit of motivation to finish the project and not to feel that it needs to be a perfect um, that it needs to look exactly like my face even just to view it as an artistic um, exercise and yeah i feel that finishing it will give me something to look at in the future that reminds me of this time in my life so i'm gonna go back to painting <laughs>